What's going on YouTube? 3G Racing here coming back at you with another video today and today we are going over all of our goals and expectations here for 2023 so I'm taking the Eclipse out for a rip right now. Beautiful weather to start off the new year so we're taking a real quick cruise and uh, yeah let's get right into the video. <laughs> So for starters, I want to go over 2022. We, at the end of the day, we had a great year. We got a 3000 GT, we got a new Jeep. 3000 GT got to go autocrossing, drag racing, we ran some decent times, nothing crazy, decent time of 3000. The Eclipse, we got down to a 14.3 last year. My goal was 14.5, so we got underneath that, which I'm very happy about that. Um, got the new intake manifold on, new throttle body. Uh, overall, the car is looking fantastic too, so. The Eclipse is going great. We also ventured into the autocross world, so I had a ton of fun doing that. And we have some big plans coming up for that next year, so stay tuned, guys. Like, next year's about to go crazy, but 2022 overall success. The channel has grown over 900 subscribers last year, so big shout out to you guys. I couldn't have done it, couldn't have done it without you guys, obviously, so I really appreciate it. But yeah, 2022 massive success for not only the cars, but the channel as well. Uh, Instagram's been popping off. I think I averaged like 300 likes a post, which is pretty cool compared to last year. I think we had 180 or something. So really killing it there. But yeah, big 2022, but we're getting ready for an even bigger 2023. So let's, let's get right, let's get right into 2023. First off, I do want to say happy new year. Merry Christmas. I haven't posted a video in the past month and there's been good reasoning behind that. One, I haven't had the car two christmas shopping dude and it, it is a nightmare i hate going out it's so crowded and just like i don't got time for anything with all the holidays and the work like it's a pain but we're back we're ready to film some videos i have a couple events coming up too that we could go to so as long as the weather's okay we're gonna be hitting up some events here pretty soon um as for the cars for 2023 i want to get the eclipse into the 13s ultimately um, I am going to order a nitrous kit very soon for it to make sure that happens. It's either go or blow this year. Hopefully not blow because I do have a lot of plans with the car. So maybe we'll, we'll, we'll start off with a 50, maybe a 75 shot and just go from there and only use it when uh, when needed. But we're getting the Eclipse in the 13s in the quarter mile this year. Hopefully past 100 mile per hour as well. Uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's the ultimate number one goal for the Eclipse. Um, number two, we're going to try to hit up as many autocross and track day events as we can because i love drag racing don't get me wrong but autocross and just like racing on an actual track and like having driver skill be more involved than just like oh my wallet's this big i can make my car go this fast like i feel like it's a lot more fun it's a lot more skill based it is a little bit more expensive so it's hard to do it as much and it's much more limited availability but i do want to hit up new jersey motorsport park i do want to hit up pocono at least one or two times this year and then obviously autocross they have a whole season i think there's 15 events i want to try to go to at least 10 of them so i can get 10 valid uh scores there but yeah as far as uh racing goes that's that's our goal i do want to i'm going to be doing uh sts class so i'm going to get the clips fully fully race card out um i want to do new suspension components new sway bars all that so Place all the bushings so that's definitely in the plans here for the start of 2023 to have this car ready to go for the first autocross event and we're going to put up some serious numbers so that's that's the number one goal right now well along with the nitrous kit for 13s i guess 1a 1b we can call it but that's that's where we want to be at for the eclipse now for the 3000 i'm honestly debating what i want to do with that car i love having that car i love just looking at that car and it's it's a very i got nearly just ended this whole video he nearly just fucking t-boned me holy shit what an idiot every time i drive that's the second time i've been driving on this road and that's wild but um man excuse my language guys that, that was not <sighs> jesus christ okay well Where was I? Uh, 3000. So I love the 3000 GT. I do really want to get a Porsche, like an old Porsche box or something. The way the car market's looking right now, it might not happen this year. And if it doesn't, I do want to get an exhaust on the 3K, clean it up, new brakes, calipers, rotors, uh, all that stuff. Just really clean up the car, make it look good. Um, yeah, overall, that car, it's, it's going good. Very reliable. I haven't had any. 
any issues with it. I've been daily in the Jeep. I really haven't driven the 3000 once they start assaulting the roads. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there with that car. It's, everything's a little bit more expensive on that car, so it's kind of tough, especially when I already have the Eclipse that I'm trying to make fast mod out. So, most of my money does get dumped into this car. The 3000 is mainly just a show car for meets and stuff. But I, maybe some coilovers on it at some point as well. But as far as the 3000 goes, that's where we're that's where we're looking at that. So uh, stay tuned. I know a lot of big 3000 GT fans out there. So if you guys want more content for that car, just say it in the comments, and I can take it back to the racetrack and maybe go to Cecil County. I think it's definitely capable of a low 15 second pass. Um, it just takes some getting used to driving it. This car and the uh, 3000 drive completely differently with the way the clutch feels. So. It is an adjustment going back and forth, but I bet if I just drove it for a week, I'll have more practice in. We would be able to put in some numbers with that 3000 GT, so yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys want. Uh, I do, the Jeep has a slight transmission issue though, so if anybody's looking forward to some off-roading videos, I'm holding off on that until I can get that slip fixed. I'm going to try to just... Uh, change the fluid first if that doesn't work then i'm just gonna wait till the trans blows and then uh then we're just gonna replace the trans then we can do it everyone with that car but it does get very poor miles per gallon so i don't know how long we're going to keep it if the gas prices go back up but yeah that's that's our uh that's our plans with that um as far as the channel goes my goal is to hopefully we're gonna go shoot for the stars this year hopefully we can get 5,000 subscribers um, either way, I'm happy. Like, I, it's all just a number to me. I just like making content for you guys. I like racing. I like recording it. And I like to be able to look back on it, too. Like, I, I eventually want to show my family all these videos one day when I'm older. And they can see everything that I was doing when I was a kid. It's cool to be able to look back on all this stuff. So, yeah, I mean, the, the numbers are cool. Making money off it's cool. But at, at the end of the day, it's not like a priority to me. But, yeah, so, channel's going great. Instagram's going great. Um. As far as uh, merchandise, I do want to try to get some merch out this year. I know I said that last year as well, and I had a couple of designs being made. They just never really hit the market because it, it's a lot of work, guys. Like, it's kind of a risk too. Not a huge one because it's not really like going to be that many. And I don't. If you guys are interested in merchandise, just let me know, and I could probably pump some out for you guys. But I just need a I need a head count before I actually go and do that because I don't want to print too many. I don't want to print out enough. So whatever happens when that happens, I don't really care. Um, like I said, I'm not really in this for the money. I'm just here to share some knowledge, share some fun times with the cars, and just look back on it in the future. So eventually, if we do blow up, though, I'm buying a racetrack. We're going to go full Cletus McFarlane by a racetrack, and we're just going to have the whole hay day out here. I feel like we need more racetracks on the East Coast, too. There's not a lot not a lot going on out here. So, yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think, but... Those are our current goals for 2023. Um, I'm trying to think anything else. Obviously, this career goal is making making more money and making moves. But as far as the cars and the channel, I think we pretty much got it all covered. Um, I don't know any other mods really for the Eclipse series. The suspension, the nitrous, and then going to a bunch of events. So if the motor blows, 6074 swap is ultimately what I've decided. And we're just going to do full bolt-ons with that, probably nudge us on there as well, and go from there. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like I said before, I appreciate you guys so much. Couldn't do any of this without you guys. If no one's watching, my, I mean, it's not as fun if no one's watching. So, like I said, I appreciate it. But make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And let's, let's put this one in for a uh, very successful 2023, guys. I can't wait to start going back to the track back to car shows filming a bunch of content for you guys so make sure to like subscribe comment all that and i'll see you on the next video peace